Boom! Today we're breaking down all you need to know how to learn a kip. To achieve this, we need a mixture of all the above. So stay tuned and let's rock this boat. First, here's how we'd run a practice with drills and strengthening exercises, where we switch stations roughly every 30 to 40 seconds. I'll explain these stations in more in detail now. As our hands toughen, the skin will rip. That's why today's video is sponsored by Jim Kiwi's Tape Grips. These bad boys will last for months and allow you to carry on training pain-free. There's a 20% discount below, so slap one on and get ready to work. Okay, so we're gonna go over the fundamentals of a glide, then work our way to a kip. Without the glide, the kip is nothing. Start by hollow pushes off the wall. We're gonna then add a jump, and then we'll make our way over to the bar. We start by applying pressure to the bar, pushing down and adding a controlled, tense jump. Once we understand the pressure on the bar, we'll add a jump and then push away, blocking off the bar. Jump to the bar holding a hollow tuck shape, with a Pac-Man or barrel stopping us with our hips tucked under. The same round shape applies when we straighten our legs and we add the hollow straight jump. After feeling the bar, we'll just start basic, using a barrel for the glide. We'll then upgrade going up a cheese mat to replicate the direction and where we want to go with our feet. Then we can add difficulty. We use a furniture slider to work more through our core rather than the momentum of the swing. Put a TheraBand around your feet. Try and touch your belly or your hips to the band to give ourselves the full range of extension in the glide. We want to stay straight slash hollow, not arched. And now for spotting. You need to get just as many reps in as the gymnast. Five glides in a row, emphasizing the positions and shapes throughout. And then when they start moving by themselves, really just focus and emphasize their head position, their chest position, their hips, the extension, all those little things that add up that's gonna help us with our kip. All right, time to get strong. Let's make our glides look pretty. Our walks across the bar, engaging the core and keeping our legs tight. Try and keep your arms by your ears and chest round throughout. Our extensions are great, using our lower abs to really push through and show off that final position in our glide. We can do variations using a foam roller and the same with more difficulty using a furniture slider. We want to focus on keeping our knees and toes squeezed throughout. Same goes for here with our bungee hollow rocks. Maintaining pressure behind your ears, holding your hollow shape. These TheraBand levers replicate the exact same thing. We want to use these as side stations as we run our practice. We can never get enough of these shaping and conditioning. These are absolute money if you want to look at polishing your shape. Do these while keeping your lower back on the floor while tightening your core. Rollers are a great ab exercise and we want to focus on extending and opening our hips and our thighs not going back past vertical. Chin levers are a little bit more advanced, but hey, getting strong isn't going to hurt. If you need some help, bend your knees a little bit, but keep those hips open. Okay, so leg lifts is the Big Mac sauce without the calories. You just have to get these in. There are many variations we do. We can do regular, you can do half ups around the world or tuck ups. Make sure when you do your tuck-ups, you're lifting your knees up or above your head, rolling your hips off the wall. They really force your lower abs to work and can help prevent back problems in the future. All right, let's dig deep with our glide kip. There's two main key components, the hip extension and the lat pull-down. V-lifts focuses and helps us understand the power of the hip extension. The straight body drop kip focuses solely on the lat pull-down. We need a combination of both, which is the standard pike drop kip. Understand all of them and you'll be good. We always want to emphasize the legs shooting up as our arms are pulling down. Always spot and reinforce straight arms. As we put the pieces together, slow it down and emphasize each position as you spot through the motion. And while you're here, don't be afraid to hit the subscribe, like, turn the notifications, leave a comment down below, whatever tickles your fancy. Let's get it. Then it's time to ring that bell and get it on your own. It is not gonna come in a day. So these next drills and strengthening exercises will make your life so much easier. Supplement these exercises into your program. Be patient, wait a few months, and the results should show. Okay, so drills, these are the hammer to the nail. And going off those V extensions, this drill will help the gymnast understand the exact timing and positioning throughout the skill. Support jumps are great to isolate the lat pull, always with straight arms. Play around with their feet together and when they get stronger, transition to one foot. Let them play with their hand whip to understand where their hips are on the bar to get the most efficient cast. They should finish compressed on their hips, not their thighs. Bouncy jumps, can't go wrong. 
assisted lean backs to the bar with straight arms. This is quite difficult for the gymnast, but great for understanding that last pull to the bar. Oh, this one right here is my favorite drill for Kip. I reckon you should be doing it every day. It's not gonna hurt, it's only gonna help. All right, so these panel mat kip ups are good. I'm not mad at them and it helps many girls. However, I'd rather add some shrugs to condition the push through the gymnast traps, which will help lock those arms up. Here's the same thing, but with a weighted bar. Again, I'm not mad at it, but I'd rather do the prior resi assisted kips. Conditioning the kip is quite specific. These roll-ups to compressions are great, but again, it works better when you add some shrugs to the party. These extended sit-ups helps that fast compression, which can also help with the front hip circle. I know I keep going on about these V toe lifts, and here's a great conditioning side station. You can do these regular or a more advanced version by adding a TheraBand for resistance. The wall roll is again, focus on the direction of the feet when entering the bar, then extending your hips up to the roof, replicating the kip. You need strong shoulders to control your pull on the bar. Weighted front raise, then to a hold, will tick that box. Bent over rows and lat lifts are another great exercise to focus on the exact muscles that are used while learning and performing the kip. You can never be too strong at these. Now these shrugs help again with your traps and pressure when pushing down on the bar. If you want straight arms in your kip, get strong traps. And so now here's a similar exercise on the bar, but if I were to pick one, I'll definitely just go for the weights. When doing these support walks, really try to maintain a hollow round position with straight arms as you walk along the bar. These lat pull downs with the bungee are another great side station to reinforce the movement with the arms of the kip. You should be doing these every day too. All right, rope climbs, they suck, but they work. See who your best bar worker is and then see who can do the most rope climbs. You might just see a very high correlation between the two. If you haven't got a rope nearby, try this variation with a strong TheraBand. It'll replicate the muscles used to build their strength without hurting their hands. Skin the cats are another lat killer. Get strong at these, you'll get your kit. Now lastly, just have some fun with the floor kip up. Girls will love it and it's essentially the same thing. All right, I hope you learned something new today or made you remember a drill that you've been neglecting or motivated you to work on your glide kits. Don't forget to like and subscribe and also check out the Gym Kiwis Tape Grips below. Thank you so much.